Brentford won, Manchester United won, Houston Red Army were here to analyse what went wrong, how bad was this game or how good was Brentford? Sam, tell me what you think. Uh, we were very average this game. I don't even think we were average. I mean, like I said, Brentford was on the front foot for the whole entire game and I mean, we just looked sluggish, couldn't keep possession of the ball, didn't have no real attack going on and we were just kind of all over the place today. So. It's, but, you know, you get that late goal and you think that, hey, you got exactly. to hold it down. You got to hold it down. You know, you got to come out with three points, especially because we're where we are in the table. Yeah. So that was a, a must-have win. And, you know, to get a tie is a little heartbreaking. But what was your take? Were Brentford good or you not doing just that bad? I think after last week, uh, FA Cup, <clears throat> it seems to be this sort of pattern where we give everything and we look really good. And then the game after, they just don't have it anymore. They, they don't have the uh, momentum, the, the momentum energy, and stuff like that. But I, I seen passage of play where you know we did the triangles and the passing was really good and stuff like that. But overall, Brentford just run right. Over I know, us. right? They, they was they were so much better. Than Too that. much. It, yeah. it, it looked like because this was the game people thought, all right, three points before you played Chelsea and Liverpool. But bro, did we f even? <laughs> I think that's the problem, though. Like we think these games are like easy, easy, right? And they just, you know, they fight for the big team against the big teams and stuff like that. But these teams, they just, <sighs> yeah, you know, it's not good enough. Yeah, and Brentford should have had about three before that. Yes, they, oh, oh that, that game should have been over. Yeah, long, they long. Should have been over. Well, they so, yeah, with us. I mean, Tony should have had. Like an a hat trick, yeah. yeah. if you could finish better, yeah. Honestly, um, yeah, go on. <clears throat> no, just the, the defending overall, uh, throughout the team was really negative. Uh, when we went forward, we didn't sit Rashford, Rashford, like, what the f what is going on? I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. He was He's oblivious, like, he was invisible. He was just like McTominay, invisible. If you come out to do an interview and say how much you love the club and how much you're going to do for the club and then you show up and you do that it, it's ridiculous it, 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 he's going to lose his England place and it's nothing but his own fault he doesn't put the effort in no it's ridiculous no. and I tried to give him the benefit for the doubt of all of them coming back from international break and not having trips but I mean Rashford really didn't play that much in his international break so I think Manu played more than he did and so, I mean, on a scale like of one to ten, ten, what would you give United's performance today? Oof. Uh, Don't I, be shy. I, I, I give it a, a four. A again, four. Below average, because again, this is this was must three win points. For the rest of the season, it's must <coughs> must win if we want to get back into Champions League. And you know, with everybody else winning and us losing, I mean, that just put us more behind. Well, what, um, what would you give on a scale of one to ten? From a, a forty-year supporter, I'd give it a, a two or a three. <laughs> from from what from what expectations we, yeah. to today was yeah. shambolic. It from, was it from, really was shambolic. From what the last ten years has showed us, yeah. I'd probably give it a five. Yeah. But come on, what is going on? They, they, they've got no hunger no. whatsoever. These horrible. players don't know what it is to wear that shirt. No. It's ridiculous. It is. It is. It, is. it, is. it was really poor. I'm sorry. I mean. Here we are, we got Chelsea on Thursday, Liverpool on Sunday, two big games. Any quick predictions? Chelsea, quickly, what do you think we can do? What's your prediction for that score, please? Uh, I think we're 2 0 Chelsea, uh, only because Chelsea was four men or uh, man advantage against Burnley today with 40 minutes and, you know, still put two away on the bottom of the table team. So, I mean, I'm, I, I think their, their confidence level is pretty, pretty low. Liverpool game. I mean, I think Liverpool's coming out for revenge. They're in, you know, they're, they're, they're a deal where they got to win. So I think we're getting another one. I mean, I want I want to say one one in that game, but I mean, they both out to get us though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 beat both of them. They both out to get us. Yeah, and they both, you know, smell blood. Yeah. So yeah. On this who, performance, who knows? If we play like who this knows? on uh, Thursday or Sunday, we yeah. are going to get slaughtered and humiliated. What's your prediction scores against those two teams quickly? Uh, Chelsea a hopeful like 2-1 against Liverpool I'm just praying for the best
Okay, you've heard it from Houston Red Army after a, a calamitous, a poor game from United. Absolutely, after we've all come from the high of Man United beating, sending out the United, biggest rivals out of the FA Cup. We now come to this, and this was what we saw a 1 1 draw against Brentford, who outplayed, outfought, outmaneuvered us. But this is Manchester United. From all of us, glory, glory. Man United.